Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on objections to Bayesian epistemology as the final part of our larger series on Bayesian epistemology. In this video, we're going to be looking at the problem of the immutability of logic in Bayesian epistemology. So, we remember from long ago in our series, the probability tautology principle in the laws of probability is that for all laws of logic, the probability of that law of logic has to equal 1. Or in other words, for all logical truths, the probability of L, that logical truth, is equal to 1. We call that P hot. We also remember from the Dutch book arguments that for the Dutch book arguments to be valid, we must assume that the laws of probability apply to our degrees of belief. Or in other words, the laws of probability have to map perfectly onto degrees of belief. They have to be the same kind of things that we can use the same rules for. If they did not, the central comparison of Bayesian epistemology between degrees of belief and probabilities would fall apart. Basically, we wouldn't be able to use Bayes' theorem to deal with degrees of belief because Bayes' theorem is originally meant to deal with probabilities, which are different things than degrees of belief. So, unless we can show that degrees of belief perfectly map onto probabilities, Bayesian epistemology is not going to work. Therefore, the degree of belief in the laws of logic we have has to be 1. Or, in other words, we have to be certain of the laws of logic. Otherwise, the Dutch book arguments are not going to be valid. However, this is going to be a problem because we concluded in the last series with the paradox of dogmatism that's in fact irrational to be certain of anything. And while this alone didn't pose a problem for Bayesian epistemology, in combination with the requirement of Bayesian epistemology that we must be certain of the laws of logic, we have a problem. We have a contradiction. We have a set of propositions that cannot hold. In other words, here's the argument. To believe in Bayesian epistemology, you must believe the laws of logic to be certain. That's just the probability tautology principle, and the definition of what we're saying as degrees of belief, the definition that they map perfectly onto the laws of probability. Premise two, it is irrational to be certain of anything. That's the conclusion we got from the Bayesian dogmatism paradox in our previous series. Therefore, it is irrational to believe in Bayesian epistemology. This just follows directly from the premises. Now, to make this a little clearer, imagine you subscribe to a logical system with the following axiom in addition to the standard classical logic, assumption of the consequence. For all P and all Q, Q and P implies Q implies P. I've done a lot of videos questioning the original standards of classical logic. What I want to demonstrate here is if you did in fact have a system of logic that was contradictory, as we'll clearly show a system with the assumption of consequent to be, you would be irrational actually to revise that system. You'd be irrational to change something about that system. So if we showed, as I've done in other videos, that the laws of logic as we state them now lead to a contradiction. Not only must we hold that contradiction, but we can't change our belief in it or be irrational ourselves according to Bayesian epistemology. You're irrational if you do and irrational if you don't. If you want to see how the assumption of the consequent leads to a contradiction, there's a proof for it. If you want to do the proof on your own, pause the video right now. I'm not going to go through the whole proof step by step here, but if you want to pause the video, you can take a look at it and see if your proof is correct. Here's the way I proved it. There's other ways to prove it. Basically, it's going to lead to a contradiction. Now, as a side note, you can't necessarily conclude, even if we were outside the framework of Bayesian epistemology, that assumption of the consequent is incorrect because of the problem of holistic underdetermination. 
Watch the video on that if you're curious. We've reached a contradiction, but we cannot tell which of our axiom is to blame, because assumption of the consequent alone does not lead to a contradiction. Only when we combine it with those other axioms of classical logic, the rest of that proof that we did, can we show that we have a contradiction. Check out the video on holistic underdetermination for more on that. Like I said, it's kind of a side note, but it's an interesting point to make. More positive the subject at hand, if you are a Bayesian that is presented with the aforementioned argument, let's say you're just forming your logical ideas and you decided to take assumption of the consequent as one of your logical laws. Even though you have reached a contradiction, you would be equally irrational to attempt to revise your beliefs as you would be to affirm them. Anything you are certain of cannot be revised by any evidence, and you must be certain of the laws of logic for Bayesian epistemology to work. You're irrational if you revise your beliefs, and irrational if you don't. The point that I'm trying to make here is it seems to me that we're not certain of the laws of logic. We can't be, because if you were presented with an argument like that, it seems that you would have to revise your beliefs. It seems that if you had taken on a bad logical system and you were shown that it led to a contradiction, you would have to go back and revise those beliefs. You'd have to change that, which means, according to Bayesian epistemology, you're not actually certain of any of the laws of logic, and therefore, probability does not map onto degrees of belief. Therefore, Bayesian epistemology, its central tenet, the Dutch book arguments, fail. In other words, if you are certain of any hypothesis, no evidence will ever confirm or disconfirm that hypothesis for you. That was the immutability of logic. Next up is logical omnipotence, uncertain evidence, old evidence, prediction versus accommodation, new theories, and the problem of the priors. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org. Check out the SEP for all these objections and more, and stay skeptical, everybody.